okay so this is the sickle cell disease rapid test kit this is how it comes so it comes in a pack like this and you have the buffer as the buffer and this is the capillary tissue for collecting the patient sample yeah so yeah, this is also the cassette that is inside so this is the cassette for doing the tests then what you do you open the capillary tube you bring out one of it like this yes so if you have a patient you can use the lessons or if you have a sample like we have here you can just open it yes then get the capillary tube to touch the blood sample inside the bottle so you see it inside the capillary tube so you have it something like this that the capillary tube so let's keep it there then you get the buffer which of the test kit has a buffer for it so you open up the buffer like this then you insert the capillary tube you just use the collecting the blood sample then you invert it like this mix it together so all the blood will go inside the buffer so you have it like this so you just wait for some time keep it standing then after that you open your your test case sets so this is the test case sets so um on this test case set you you have um the test line the control lines so you add three drops of your mix buffer and patient sample on this well here yeah? one two three so when you're done doing that you allow the sample to run on the case set so you just allow it for like five to ten minutes you start seeing your results so what you be seeing on this case set you have the control line um, when the control line is showing that means the test is working well but when it's not showing I mean that the um, test kit is invalid so on the case set like this you have the three lines there for the test you have the A line you have the S line then you have the C line so with that you can interpret the patient result when it's just the control line that is showing that means the case set is also invalid when you have um, maybe the A line and the control line showing the patient is AA and when you have the S line and the control line showing the patient is SS so when you have the control line and the C line showing the patient is um, CC so when you also have the A line and the S line showing the patient is AS so basically this is how to use the kit and this is how to interpret the results the kit is very reliable and it's 100% accurate. I can assure you that. So you just allow the sample to run on the case set, then the line skip just comes up, and from there you will be able to interpret the results to know what the patient result is. You can, you can do for your wife, you can do for your children, you can do for yourself. It's easy to use. Um, you, you can the cassette comes in 20, 20 cassettes um, in, a, in a box.